सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट नेशनल कैरिकुलम फ्रेमवर्क ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री पार्ट ई क्रिएटिंग अ सपोर्टिव इको सिस्टम पेज फाइव फोर्टी सेवन हेयर वी हैव अपीन ऑफ अ स्टाफ रूम वेर इन लॉट ऑफ टीचर्स आर इन डल्जिंग इन प्रोडक्टिव टॉक विद ईच अदर पेज फाइव फोर्टी एट The NCF for school education is applicable to all types of schools and all modes of schooling including open schools distance learning alternative schools non formal schools and virtual schools for the NCF to be a real transformational force for indian school education it will need to be appropriately complemented by other elements of the education system this section briefly describes the kind of ecosystem needed for the implementation of the ncf chapter 1 discusses capacity building for ncf implementation chapter 2 details the infrastructure and learning resources support required to implement this ncf chapter 3 is about the empowerment of teachers on various dimensions in line with nep 2020 chapter 4 enumerates the importance of parents and the community in supporting the learning of students these matters require significant elaboration which would be done with associated documents page 549 chapter 1 capacity building for implementation implementation of the ncf will have many steps including the development of state curriculum frameworks scfs and other curriculum frameworks that may be based on the ncf appropriate syllabi textbooks and other materials hence here on curriculum framework cf will be used to denote the relevant frameworks curricular literacy among all stakeholders whether associated with public or private schools academic support structures or teacher education institutions is critical for the implementation of the ncf on this page we have a picture of a professor interacting with lot of young teachers it seems to be very much productive and a healthy conversation that they are all involved into page 550 section 1.1 curriculum framework literacy for all stakeholders a e. stakeholders involved in the implementation of curriculum frameworks teachers head teachers principals and syllabus and tlm developers are the key persons involved in the implementation of the relevant cfs in addition all the stakeholders in the ecosystem within which they work must be able to interpret the cfs in the context of their roles and support them This will include personnel in academic and administrative support structures as well as teacher education institutions. Parents and community members must also be CF literate. As key stakeholders in schooling, they must be able to understand changes in curriculum and processes and the expected learning. it must be noted that the duration of the capacity development programs the modes and the bodies that should conduct them as mentioned in this chapter are only indicative 
the important matter is to ensure that high quality and relevant capacity development of all stakeholders happens with speed and that relevant handbooks and other materials are made available this would be relevant for all grades b components of curriculum framework literacy the components of cf literacy are a deep understanding of one the approaches and principles of the cf to achieve the aims of education two key curricular changes and transitions in pedagogy content and assessment in each curricular area to achieve these aims three roles and responsibilities of each stakeholder to execute the changes four the importance of the above components this understanding is necessary especially for teachers to exercise their autonomy and to take decisions best suited to the needs and context of their students c orientation to the relevant curriculum framework an overall orientation to the relevant cf must be planned for all stakeholders at the earliest one scert or the relevant body will anchor the design and module development for this program it will be implemented by the dieets and relevant bodies using well trained high capacity resource persons two a 2 to 3 day intensive orientation program must be designed separately for each set of stakeholders this is necessary because in addition to common areas some aspects of the relevant cf will require a deeper focus based on specific roles and responsibilities first all stakeholders must be oriented to the broad curricular pedagogical and assessment approach of the cf as well as school restructuring they must understand the key transitions and why they are necessary they must also understand the expectations from schools regarding culture and processes page 551 Second, all stakeholders must also receive a broad orientation to the learning standards and their implications for schools and classrooms. Third, focus areas for teachers must include illustratively details of the learning standards, curricular areas, experiential learning, a competency-based approach. formative assessments and connecting to students context fourth focus areas for head teachers and principals must include illustratively expectations from them regarding school culture and processes school restructuring as well as approaches to curriculum pedagogy and assessment fifth Focus areas for academic functionaries must include illustratively the key transitions they must support teachers make particularly in pedagogy and assessment they must also receive an orientation on maintaining an empowering culture for teachers 6th focus areas for administrative functionaries must include illustratively resourcing requirements for implementation of the relevant cf and monitoring and review informed by key transitions they must also receive an orientation on maintaining an empowering culture for teachers 7th parents and community members must be oriented to the learning standards so that they can follow the progress of students in the family 
they must be aware of the ways in which they can support schools, whether as resource persons or by ensuring enrollment and attendance. Online modules for MCF literacy can also be available for interested members of the community. D. Academic functionaries identified as per their specialization must also undergo a more intensive face-to-face -face program for building capacity in art education, vocational education, physical education and well-being and education in interdisciplinary areas. This program should be conducted annually in blended mode for two to three years after implementation of the CF, with at least six days of face-to-face -face interaction, followed by pre-scheduled online sessions. Section 1.2 Capacity Building of Teachers Capacity building of teachers to implement the CF must be comprehensively done across stages of schooling with a focus on the following. A. Overall approach to capacity building. First, 1. The preferred mode is face-to-face, -face, followed by frequent interactions and continuing on-site support. The programs must be supplemented with digital material, relevant handbooks and other training materials. Capacity building may be organised by DIETs or other bodies and continued support will be provided by block level and cluster level functionaries. Modules and materials will be collaboratively developed by relevant stakeholders brought together by the SCERT. 2. As far as possible, private schools could be part of these processes. Otherwise, they must develop their own plans. Page 552. 3. Broadly, the modules for capacity building will address CF literacy, learning standards, competency-based approach, stage-wise pedagogy and assessment, textbooks and materials, and experiential learning. Also, teachers must be oriented on how to leverage local resources, particularly for vocational education, physical education and well-being and art education. B. Capacity building for mathematics, languages, science, social science and other subjects in the secondary stage. 1. Capacity building of teachers related to these curricular areas is necessary for them to understand and fully utilize the empowerment from the CF. 2. This can be in the form of intensive face-to-face -face programs to be conducted for about 10 days. This must be supplemented by single-day interactions at the block and cluster levels spread over the year, preferably face-to-face. -face. The total of these single-day interactions should add up to 15 days over the year. This must be continued for at least two to three years after the implementation of the relevant CF. 3. For secondary stage teachers, the capacity development will have to be aligned with the subjects being offered and their design. C. Capacity building in the world around us art education, vocational education, physical education and well-being and education in interdisciplinary areas. 1. 
the capacity building of teachers related to these curricular areas must take into consideration the existing realities. For the first few years after the implementation of the relevant CF, teachers who are not necessarily qualified to teach these subjects will have to help students attain curricular goals adequately as per the design of the curriculum. For example, a teacher of social science may have to teach individuals in society in grade 9 and a teacher of the world around us may have to teach art education in the preparatory stage. Teachers will undergo special orientation for these areas and will also require more intense ongoing support compared to other areas. 2. For these teachers, intensive face-to-face -face programs must be conducted for 10 days twice in the first year after implementation of the relevant CF, totaling 20 days. A calendar of five follow-up on-site visits by resource persons for at least one day must be prepared between the two sets of face-to-face -face interactions. As above, this must be supplemented by single-day interactions at the block and cluster level spread over the year, preferably face-to-face. -face. The total of these single-day interactions should add up to about 15 days over the year. 3. In the second year after the implementation of the CF, a single face-to-face -face program of 10 days duration with single-day interactions can be planned. This must be continued for at least two to three years after the implementation of the relevant CF. You were just listening to the National Curriculum Framework 2023. This is brought to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.